In this video we're going to take a look at confusing guitar tab symbols when you look at string bends, hammering on, pulling off, vibrato and this one in particular is made for Gail who's taking Skype lessons with me who lives in the US and was asking questions about certain symbols that were somewhat confusing. So we're going to take a close up and out of the guitar and a look at some of the symbols and explain what's going on. Now in this particular tab you can see the number 18 on the B string and it's got the loop over it with a B and in brackets the number 20. So there's the 18th of, you'll have to forgive the sound of the seagulls, I think uh, it must be a sign that it's going to start raining, but anyway, number 18. Now we've got a number 20 in brackets and a B. The B is for bend, so you're going to bend the 18th up. Now what does 20 mean? Well, there's the 20th there. So if you listen to that tone, you're bending that note up to sound like the 20th fret. So if you listen to that, so by bending up, you're hitting, essentially, you're bending up to the 20th, like that. Now if we look further along, we have a 19 in brackets with a loop over to the 17 with R written above. Now that's release. So what that means is it's a pre-bend. So on the 17th fret, he's bent it up to the 19th. So, so he's bent it up to the 19th and he's then releasing it. If you want to practice string bends, say you want to hear what bending up to the 19th should sound like, hit the 19th and then bend the 17th up to get the same tone. So that's essentially what you're doing. Um, further along, you can see there there's a, a bracket with an E on on the high E string with an R going to 17. So, there's the 17th, the brackets, he's pre-bending it up 18, so he's only bending it up one fret, there's the 18 there, so. So that's what's going on there. So, if you hit the 18th, you can hear whether you're getting the right pitch or not. That's very important. You know, in the early days when I started on YouTube, some of my string bends, when I listened back, made us wince because uh, you think you're getting them right, but sometimes you can be out. Now, the next one is pull-offs, hammering on and pulling off. So in the first example there, you've got seven with a loop over to five, and that's very simply there. So I'm pulling off. I'm not going... I'm not picking each note, I'm just pulling. Now further along, right at the end, you've got a, an open note with a loop over to the three, and that's a hammer on. Like that. That's fairly straightforward. Older tabs used to have a P uh, uh, or an H, H for hammer on, P for pull off. But if you've got a higher number before the lower number, it's a bit obvious that you'll be pulling out, not hammering on. And I think that's like the kind of uh, said, set standard way of thinking now. Now in this uh, particular one, we've got the red circles around these uh, symbols here. They are very simply repeat signs. So you're going to play what's on there all the way through and then you'll start again and play it again. And really it saves the guy who's writing the guitar tab out from writing it out twice. It's just very straightforward repeat. Now sometimes if you look there, you've got this repeat sign. So this is at the end here. You've got this repeat where I've got the bit the, the circle around there. But at the top of the page, you've got a number one and a number two. Now what does that mean? Well, really what it means is when you play it through from the beginning, on the first time round, you'll play the number one bit. And then on the second time round, you're going to miss number one out and play where number two begins. 
So again, it saves having to write a lot uh, it out twice with a slightly different ending. It's just the ending of the bar is different on the second time round. So I hope that explains. Any questions, let me know in the comments. Now, in a particular one like this, the way the red circle, you've got this, these squiggles. That is very simply uh, vibrato. Uh, vibrato is a very personal thing. Everybody does it in a slightly different way. So instead of just hitting the note like that, I'm going to shake the note. Not too much as in that I'm bending it to a different note. I'm just... Some people have a very wide vibrato, you'll hear that expression. Or, like that. And it makes the note last longer. Now you've got this one, right? The end note there on the 14th fret, you've got this like line. So that's all that is, is you sliding out of the note. Like that. Now with the next example, you've got to go in the other way. So you're sliding into the note. You're not going like that, you just... So it's quick enough so that you don't hear the notes you're sliding over. It's like a... And then 14, 16, I'm, I'm bending up to the 16th like what we talked about before. Now, in the other example, on this very last note, you've got two slashes either side of the number seven. And that is... So you're sliding into it and then sliding out of it. Be careful with this, like we said before, that you're not... I've seen people going... And that will be completely different. Now the next uh, one we've got this little X. So you've got a number three, which you can blurred out by the, the, the circle. You've got a three, third fret of the A, and now on the D string you've got an X. And that just means you're quite simply muting it. So you're getting a percussive. Like that. So I hope that explains that. So in this example, we see that we've got a second fret here, and that's bending it up to the fourth. So it's going to be hitting that note. You're going to be bending it up so it sounds like that. And then you hit the, you're keeping that held there, like it says hold bend. You hit the third, and then release. So pull off. And then you've got the vibrato there. So. so as always, thank you for watching and I hope that helps you be able to understand guitar tab a lot better.